And we wrote about it today. Yes. Hockey Canada has a second sex assault slush fund funded from kids' hockey registration fees because, of course, they do. The details, real simple. Globe and Mail uncovered this. Great work from the people at the Globe and Mail. There are still people that do good work in traditional media. Several years after Hockey Canada began using player registration fees to build large financial reserves known as the National Equity Fund to cover sexual assault claims and other lawsuits, it channeled a significant portion of that money into a second multi-million dollar fund for <laughs> similar purposes, known as, quote, the Participants Legacy Trust Fund. Clever. Uh, the reserve was created by the organization and its members with more than $7.1 million from the other national equity fund, the other sex fund. Uh, the money was earmarked for matters including but not limited to sexual abuse according to hockey canada documents obtained by the globe and mail the trust with its vaguely worded name is another example of a large financial reserve created by hockey canada and its members to uh, member branches to cover sexual assault claims among other things with funds gathered from hockey registration fees without willfully disclosing to parents and players mm -hmm. how their money was ultimately being used. This is kind of a neat part. The Globe first reported in July, Hockey Canada used little known reserve called that National Equity Fund built through player registration fees to settle a $3.55 million lawsuit this year led by a woman who said she was sexually assaulted by several members of the 2018 World Junior Championship team. Gang rape. Out of London, Ontario. She was gang raped. Yes, sir. Gang yes, rape. Was. So, yeah. All that money. Do we have that funds. problem in the swimming club? No, uh, probably gymnastics, probably, but not to this extent. This is two multi-million dollar funds, one which they had uncovered, lied about the next one. The Globe and Mail then uncovers this one, and now there's a huge hearing on Capitol Hill, and I was watching it today, and the interim president of Hockey Canada is a nice young lady named Andrea Skinner who sat there just getting her teeth kicked in by MPs over and over and over again. When did you know about the fund? What were these funds used for? Why shouldn't everybody involved in Hockey Canada not be fired? Uh, like over and over and over and over again. But to your point, Lachlan, and to Tammy's point earlier, they spent millions, $9 million over the past 20 to 25 years. That is the current number, $9 million settling no fewer than 20 to 21 different sexual assault suits. Nine million. I'm assuming that doesn't cover their internal costs as well. Probably not. You won't get, well, you won't get change there without buying from the NHL. You won't like, like you, you, those the, two the, things you're saying the NHL hit. has to get involved in this. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So they're complicit. Who does the same fucking that. thing? Remember Kyle Beach? Jesus fucking Christ. They do the same shit. This, and, and here's the other thing. Well, where do those today, world showing, junior players go? Uh, where does Hockey Canada hidden. learn it from? Like, uh, yeah. You know, these, these, yeah. these, these, they're all connect. These people all know each other. These guys all know each other. Um, you know, there's a bit of a cabal at the top. And of course, they're going to protect. Well, do everything they they're can gonna, to protect. Yeah, the they're going to they're gonna protect themselves and they're protecting the players. Um, right. They're and I think that's, that's, that's the next exactly. thing. The next step is is they're going to start. People are going to demand that the players that are currently flying around in private jets, um, playing hockey, are going to they're going to get hauled out here mm -hmm. for this. Mm -hmm. I think should. that's that's the next step. We're going to start hearing about the players that may that that were involved with this. As they should. I mean, you know, you, if you look at it from an outsider's perspective, this is to them these millions and millions of dollars that they held in secret slush funds that they took from kids registration fees that was them planning on this being okay that was them saying you know what we're going to need that money to cover for these kids if they rape a girl so let's keep the rape fund open they went to court to keep the rape fund open till 2039 that's you have to remember fund. what else was happening in 2018 What's that? Right around that. That was the the year of the Broncos accident. In fact, when that incident allegedly happened was between the accident and our um, the first home opener. So, you know, at that point, the, the, the hockey, especially the junior hockey worship in Canada was, I mean, it was insane. I can't even imagine, actually, if this news had broke at that time. I don't know how we would have dealt with it. 
But I mean, there was no wrong that could be done with Hockey Canada included because they were very much involved in the aftermath of the PR around that tragedy. So the fact that it happened in 2018 to me, just kind of knowing what else was going on behind the scenes in hockey land around that time, um, it doesn't surprise me that we didn't find out about it then mm-hmm. and that it went away as quietly as it did. Well, the fact that, that, that we didn't find out about these over the – because this is lock, Tam, this is going on for fucking 40 years, right? I don't know if the blowback would have been as bad, though, in, 20, but, in 2018. No, I, yeah, I don't everyone know if it would have been either. Hockey right? sticks because, on, on their porches, right? Yeah, the emotionality of the Humboldt stuff. I mean, you yeah. know, it, it just is – it just – this is all terrible. It's terrible for Canada. Yeah. It's terrible for the people at Hockey Canada. You know what's really terrible? They're all refusing to resign. All of them refusing to be part of the solution, That's refusing bullshit. to admit any wrongdoing. All of them, dude. All of them. Scott Smith, yeah. all of them. Every single person on that fucking, except for Michael Brindamore, who uh, quit Scott Smith, Brian Cairo. None of these guys are willing to admit fault. None of these guys are willing to quit. None of these guys are admitting, admitting or even want to be part of the fucking solution. I watched the hearing today for three hours, three hours. It was between Skinner and and Brindamore, and I know two of the people that are on Hockey Canada's board, two of them, they all deserve to be fucking fired. They deserve to be charged for covering up sex assaults. They deserve to be Mm -hmm. charged for fraudulently stealing people's money uh, that they thought in good faith. Of the registration fees that we give Hockey Canada, Hockey Canada takes $23. Of that $23, it's like $23.45. Of that $23.45, $13 went into those funds. Over half of the money that can- Canada took went into those secret slush funds over half. 